Uh, it's important to maintain a healthy relationship with food and National Eating Disorder Awareness Week is a good reminder. Court standing by with an expert to learn more. Hey, Court. Hey, good morning. We've got Jennifer Lombardi with us this morning. She's a marriage and family therapist. Good morning to you, Jennifer. Hi, Courtney. Thanks for having me. Um, and now I know at Kaiser, you guys uh, do a lot of studying with uh, with eating disorders, but you've actually noticed an increase in eating disorders during the pandemic. Yes, unfortunately, I think one of the, the downsides of this pandemic, among many things, is we've seen a significant increase, not only in the number of patients that we generally see, um, but also hospitalizations yeah. and people younger and younger that are struggling. And this isn't unique to Kaiser. I would tell you that this is something we're, we're seeing across the country. Now, you've also mentioned that it's not just a medical issue. It actually affects you, you know, your quality of life through, throughout your, your what, lifetime. Right, so I think one of the, the misnomers about eating disorders or the misunderstandings is that these are biologically based illnesses. Uh, and unfortunately, eating disorders have the distinction of having a very high mortality rate. Um, mm. Upwards of 20% of people will lose their struggle. So first and foremost, you know, we really want to get out the message that it's okay to ask for help that full recovery is possible. And, and part of that is also being able to have a life um, that you feel is worth living. Now, what about um, signs to watch out for? Because sometimes we, we think we notice something, but we're not sure, and then we don't want to pry. What are some of those things that we should be on the look for? So number one, and this is for you know friends and family as well, but the one thing that we look out for first is any significant weight loss or weight mm, gain okay. in a short period of time. Uh, any form of compensatory behavior, such as diet pills, laxatives, self-induced vomiting. Mm -hmm. And then another one that oftentimes goes unnoticed, particularly in our culture, is an excessive you know, adherence to exercise, um, despite illness, despite injury, um, or using exercise as a way to, quote, undo what a person has eaten that day. So okay. these are all red flags. Uh, and so I would encourage family members and loved ones that if you know someone is struggling or suspect, to really try to have a very honest conversation with them and acknowledge some of the things that you're seeing. Well, and I think it's good to know also that there are ways to develop a healthy uh, relationship with food, and that's for everybody, whether you've got an eating disorder or not. Um, we're gonna link all the details for you to get in contact with uh, Kaiser Permanente to our website, gooddaysacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Jennifer, thank you so much for the information. Definitely uh, something that you need to have more conversations about, especially with this being uh, um, the, the week to do so and, and to be educated thank on that. Thanks thank you so much, me. Jennifer. All right.